Here's a wrap of the top stories picked from morning newspapers. Wednesday marks a new milestone in the history of Jammu and Kashmir according to the Times of India. The Home Ministry in a notification on late Wednesday night replaced the state of Jammu and Kashmir and paved the way for the formation of two union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Despite a ban on firecrackers, Delhi's air quality a day after Diwali was nearly as bad as last year according to a Hindustan Times analysis. According to the Daily, reports claiming that pollution levels are comparatively less this year are flawed because the number of air quality monitors have varied over time. According to a startling revelation by WhatsApp, journalists and activists in India have been targets of surveillance by operators using Israeli spyware Pegasus. According to the Indian Express, WhatsApp claims some 1400 WhatsApp users have been targeted but has refused to reveal their identities. According to business daily The Mint, more than 1 lakh fixed deposit holders of DHFL risk losing their savings as allegations of fraud and fund diversion emerge. If the government initiated a probe by the Serious Fraud Investigation Office, all repayments are likely to be frozen.